On my Remarkable right now, I'm going to go down on the left hand menu and I'm going to share my screen. But sometimes it does weird things like says, here we go. So I present with screen share and connect to the app. And then it says present with screen share, press accept. And now you can see what's on my screen. Now I'm looking at a portrait view journal that I've created. And today we're just going to look at the left bar menu bar. That's We're just going to go through that. Just some basics to orientate um, you with the screen. And as you can see, top left, this circle button here. I can't press anything on my screen. My screen is recording. I can only press things on my Remarkable and that will show up here for you so just so you understand how it works um, and this this cross is to come out of this particular document and this bar here if i press that circle it goes away when i press it again it comes or the menu comes back and if you can you see the red dot can you see down let me move my cursor i'll put the red dot here can you see the red dot you will see the red dot during this tutorial um, that's really cool function in the pen that we'll show you. So let's get started and we will start over here on the left hand side. So as you know the circle closes the menu and opens the menu. I'm just tapping it with my pen. Then you've got the calligraphy options. So we've got a ballpoint pen and we're going to say hello. Then we've got a fine liner and we're going to go hello with that one. Then we're going to use a marker pen, which as you would imagine is thicker. Our pencil, just give it a second. Sometimes it takes a minute. Oh, that's beautiful and dark, isn't it? We love that. Um, and then a mechanical pencil. Now in all of these, just so you know, I've got the thin option selected because that's what I like, but you can do whatever you like. The paintbrush, hello getting to my favorite the highlighter hello and my favorite one is the calligraphy pen hello now again depending on what option you pick here so if you pick the calligraphy pen and then you go to the weights you can go thin medium and thick See the differences there? You can also change colour to grey. That was black. This is grey. And if I do white, you're not going to be able to see it. But let's do it anyway. Let's try it here. You can see it sort of blocks out some of the writing. But we, we're we going to go back to black. I'm going to go back to thin. And I'm going to keep it at calligraphy. So they're the pens and the weights and the colours. Then the eraser. Um, there's three options. You can just, if you select the normal eraser, you actually just erase wherever your pen goes. Wait for it. It's going to, there it is. See, it's gone. If you pick the selection one, which is my favorite, you can highlight whatever you want and presto. And then you can highlight let's just do that section, presto. And then if you pre select erase all, everything get ready for it. it's a bit of a delay everything is deleted on the page so be careful with that one um, i'm just going to put it back to erase selection because that's my favorite all right so uh the selection tool here on the left i'm going to go to a page first and let's go to hang on a second here we go so let's type in, oh, let me, um, I was having a play just for the purpose of this video. I already have some stuff. So with the selection tool, you could actually select an area. Now you can see here, you can drag and drop. You can make it bigger with the square boxes, right? You can move it around. You can duplicate it with that. Copy to clipboard now, you've pressed the duplicate, tap on the page with the marker and it will paste. 
So you see that copy and paste is in one. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to make it smaller so I can fit everything in. I'm going to copy it. Now it's stored it on the clipboard. Now when you tap, as soon as you tap, it pastes. Okay. Now we'll hop off that space. I'm just tapping on the page somewhere else. Now I want to get rid of these copies. So again, I'm, I'm already on select mode over here on the left. See there, I'm already on select mode. So I'm just going to go around that and then I'm going to press the cut scissors. That's it. I'm going to go around that and I'm going to press the scissors and it's going to cut and paste it. I'm going to go around this. I'm going to make it smaller so it fits over neatly here over into my little spot. And I'm loving that. I'm just going to click off it by tapping on the screen. So you can redo anything on the left hand side. We're back over here again. OK, you can tap on the undo and you can see that undid my last action or then you can redo it. You see that? That's right. Redo. Use this button or tap the page once with three fingers to make something reappear. And you can see it's back there again. So the undo, the undo, let's get that arrow, beautiful. And the redo are really cool. So moving down the bottom down to the these options down here. Uh, when I click on the four squares, I can see all of my pages in a view. Uh, I love that view and it won't show that to you. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't screen share that, but it doesn't screen share. So I'm just going to click back on my Remarkable and get back to the screen you're looking at. The tags. You can create tags. They're a great way of tracking information in all across all of your documents. So I would strongly encourage you to use tags. Uh, you can create them as you go just by clicking create new tag. Then you might create um, um, sales. You might create, you can create whatever tag you want. And there you have a new tag. Layers, we're not going to go into today, but this shows you each layer that you've got on your Remarkable. It's basically Remarkable works where your document is the bottom layer and you write on the top layer. That's a very brief explanation of layers. Um, now the little box with the um, dotted box around um, above it is the screen share and also sending your document by email. So this, the first one is sending your document to the screen that I'm recording right now. The other one is sending your document by email. So you click on the email and it will actually then bring up options, which again, it doesn't show you on your screen, but it brings up some email addresses that you've previously used and you can send it off that way. And the last option down the bottom has got some settings in it. So let's just go through that. First of all, the name of the document you're in. 31 Guided Mindful, then PDF settings, you click on that and you can change the name of it and you can also select um, what you want the PDF cover to look like. When you're back out in your files, it can look like the last page you visited or it can be the cover page. You can choose that. Now I've got it on the cover page because it helps me recognize quickly where I'm at. Um, so going back down the bottom, you can adjust the view width. You've got three options fit to width, fit to height, and use the current view. So you can select what you want there. You can come back here and you can set to landscape. And as you can see, everything changes. And I can just scroll upwards and get to the bottom of my document that way. Scroll downwards and get to the top of my document. Um, I'm going to tap that option once more and go back to portrait so I can better see what I'm doing. Um, okay, and now in the bottom left, you can search. This is really cool. We could search for the word hello. Whoops. Nice and light, just so you know. Some people have a lot of trouble getting the screen to do what you want it to do with the touch. It's oftentimes you're pressing too hard or if you're holding the pen in your hand, it can send a signal to the screen and confuse it to the device. So... Keep your pen down and super, super light feather touch. Try that first before you try banging and pressing and 
and really pushing on your remarkable it works with super light touch so hello we press the enter and now look down the bottom can you see down the bottom of the screen down here searching 32 34 35 see and see the bar the progress bar over here and then up the top it's going to show you no results found hello and so we're going to press cancel and that's how you use the search function go going back down the bottom here to this square icon um, the last thing it lets you do is add a note page so when I click on that it's going to bring up you're going to see a blank page if I showed you the page view that you can't see you would see it's just added page 11 into um, after page 10 where we just were so I'm on you can see the blank page if I swipe left you will now see page 10 and you can see page numbers down the bottom here oh it's just it's gone away okay so that's re that is everything in the left hand menu bar just to orientate you to that um, and so that's the end of this video I will see you in the next video